Okay, uh, let's look at the uh, homework eight, problem number three. All right. So uh, we are looking for the equation of the plane through this point, and it's also perpendicular to this line um, right here. All right. So uh, again, uh, if you want to look for uh, the equation of a plane, uh, you need to uh, find two pieces of information, and the first piece of information is a point on that plane. So point. Right, and uh, usually uh, we use the notation uh, x zero, comma y zero, comma z zero, right? And which is actually given right here. So we have to go through the point. So you don't have to do uh, you don't have to do any work uh, to find it. It's just given. So it's five comma negative four comma two. Right, so we have that. And the second piece of information we need to find is going to be the normal vector. So here's the normal. Uh, normal vector, which is perpendicular to the plane. Right, so we're going to use the notation uh, vector n for a normal vector. Right. But uh, you can see that since uh, this guy is perpendicular to this line, we can use the direction vector of this line as the normal vector of the plane. So, which shows up right here. All right. So this is the normal vector. All right. So uh, it tells you that uh, you know i component is five, so it's going to be five, and uh, y component is negative two. And the z component is one, right? So that's the normal vector. And the notation actually, this is uh, maybe I should have written this first: uh, a comma b comma c, right? Then once you've have the uh, those two pieces of information, uh, the equation of the plane is going to look like this. Uh, so equation of the plane. Uh, looks like this uh, a times quantity x minus x zero plus b times quantity y minus y zero plus c times uh, z minus z zero is equal to zero. All right. So we got all the piece of information, so I'll let you uh, finish this problem. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this will get you going.